This is the capital city of Indians living in Zambia. Don't forget to smash the like button guys. Hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm actually going to be taking you on a tour of this beautiful neighborhood right here in lusaka zambia and uh, this neighborhood is actually called emmersdale now um emmersdale has a lot a lot of um, indians that are living here in zambia and uh, that's the reason why today's video is actually called the capital city of indians and uh, you can see behind me the beautiful big mansion which is actually here and uh, that's the reason why I'm actually calling it the capital city of Indians outside India. So let's go. Let me take you on this beautiful tour today. And uh, let's take... This is actually um, not a drive, but a walk-in tour here in Emmersdale. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, kindly consider subscribing. And also turn on that bell notification so that whenever I do post a new video, you don't miss any single of my upload, guys. And remember to support me by subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. Yeah. So let's go. I'm on the road to actually 10K subscribers. So if you're in India, if you're in uh, Pakistan, if you're in, uh, 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 in, in, in the USA, in the UK, please make sure that you subscribe. And uh, let's get this channel to 10K subscribers, guys. Let's go. Okay, so you can see the beautiful some beautiful houses in this uh, residential area and you can see one such a big house and uh, you will actually notice well the road I'm in right now is actually called uh, Conakry now Conakry is actually the capital city of Guinea which is some um, country in the western part of Africa um, yeah so this road has been named uh, Conakry okay and uh, there are beautiful houses in this particular uh, road. Um, now, what you can see also here, we have uh, a, a mosque, a big grand mosque actually, here in uh, in Emmersdale. Okay, so I'll just get to show you some beautiful houses. But you can see here, we've got a beautiful mosque. And we're gonna we are just going to go um, to the front gate so that you see how beautiful it is okay look at that but also on the other side here you can see the beautiful big house right here see that that's a very big beautiful house guys and then on this other side there are some flats um can i yeah they are called flats i'm sure uh, you guys can actually see these beautiful white and gray painted uh, uh, flats uh, right there. Okay, you can see they look beautiful. They are not yet done. Uh, okay, this one looks done, but uh, this other one here where there's this tank doesn't look like it's uh, habitable already. Or it doesn't look like there's somebody living there already. But you can see the name of the road here. You can see it says uh, Conakry Road. See this beautiful house, beautiful mansion actually, isn't it? If you look at this one, guys, can you imagine? But what I love about these guys, the residents in this particular area. Um, them being mostly Indians, um, they have the, the whole lot of their family, like you know, if you have a brother who is married and uh, they will move in, they will stay with you in the, in the same house. And that's the reason why I, I understand them when they build such big mansions. You can see this one, this other one here, very big, 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 big mansion. Uh, you can see, and it's well kept. Like you can see the environment, you know, the outside environment that is very nice. You can see from the other side. It's 
a very big mansion. Okay. And then here, Kawimbe close, there are also big, big houses and uh, the entire compound, compound here actually consists of Indians. Okay, so let's take a look at these big mansions from this side. Okay guys, so the road that I'm getting into now is actually called Twatotera Road, which is basically a Bemba name. And this is a road here. So the, this mosque is actually along this road. Okay, the Twatotera Road. Twatotera simply means we appreciate, we appreciate. Okay, and you can see the mosque from the other side. It looks beautiful looks very very beautiful though it's quiet today and it, it, it came on friday when they were uh, when they are conducting prayers of course um, but uh, already you can see you guys can tell that it's a beautiful beautiful big mosque okay so when we get a chance probably one of these fridays we can actually come here and um, yeah see for ourselves during the time for prayers but on the other side like just like each and every mosque here in Zambia what I've noticed is that they have a school which is actually a Muslim school so you should be able to see this one from somewhere there so from the mosque you've got the school a small school not very big but at least it cut us for the community. Okay, you can see. That's a nice school there. And you can see even the cars which are passing here, guys. Very expensive cars. So, yeah. On the other side, let me show you guys what is happening here. You can see a very big mansion right here. And uh, you can see the long, the long war fence which which has more like now become a tradition for most of these guys in here um, you can see the other one very big but the tall war fence actually you know it hides the beauty of uh, the houses and it has become more like a, a tradition now for most uh, indians living in this area you know they're building a lot of uh, i mean uh, tall uh, war fences so you can see what is inside but uh, they are all owned by indians okay so basically this area like i have said it's a capital city of indians living in zambia so this is Twatotera road and uh, i'm just going to take a walk and uh, show you guys more 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 places um, more beautiful houses and um, uh, that are belonging actually to Indians so let's go okay let's take a look at this beautiful mansion here guys look at this one very big house very big 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 mansion okay only that uh, like I've said in most of these uh, houses uh, people have actually hidden them with these tall uh, Orphans for security reasons for, th for some of them, but uh, really, like Zambia is very peaceful. Uh, but I'm pretty sure others are looking at where they're coming from, so they think uh, what happens there you can actually experience it right here in Zambia. But uh, that's not the case. But I love their big houses, and like I have said, because they live as extended families, so you will find that. Uh, um, they, they, they build these big houses just to accommodate everyone and that's one thing I love about uh, the Indian community okay so here yeah, let's take a tour and see some other parts of this and uh, I am in actually in the road which is known as Tuatotera Road which means we thank you which is a bemba uh, a word for we thank you now you may be wondering how come there are two words there you know we thank you um, I know others uh, mistake this word for Natasha 
Natasha is not a Bemba word. Natasha is not a Bemba word. And um, uh, in Bemba we say Natasha, so it's not Natasha. Um, so that's why you find that a lot of people from India, from, uh, um, I mean from the UK, from America, you will find names like Natasha. Because that's not a Bemba word, you know. Uh, in Bemba we say Natasha, which means I thank you. Okay, so it's different from Twatotela. Okay, so there's that little difference, but uh, ultimately they all mean we appreciate or I appreciate. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's go and see uh, a bit of other places. There is in this in this uh, particular area, guys. There, there's a road which is called Madiba Street, which is Nelson Mandela street but uh, they've just uh, used madiba you know uh, so i'll get to show you that one and there's also a road which is also known as uh, uh mutarika road so i'll get to show you all these streets right here in lusaka zambia let's go let's let's continue touring this beautiful area guys okay you can see i love the way they've kept the outside of this this particular residence here along uh, Kakumbi, Kakumbe Street. I love the way they've done their outside there, you know. It's well kept. So let's get to see some beautiful, beautiful houses. Okay, look at this one. Look at these beautiful houses. Guys, the houses I'm showing you, they all belong to Indians. That's a fact. So you can see this one, big mansion, one big mansion here. It belongs to Indians and not Zambians. That's the truth. But uh, yeah, you can see the way they've been building and you can see the type of cars which are passing. Um, yeah, these are beautiful houses, guys. And I'm not saying that uh, Zambians can't build such kind of houses. They do, and there are a lot of them that I've actually built. I did a video about uh, Ibex Hill, Minhood, and uh, Minhood Ibex, that is. And I also did a video about uh, Ibex Hill itself, and you can see a lot, a lot more uh, beautiful houses that belong to Zambians. Okay, so. Make sure that you watch some of those videos and especially I did another video about Salama Park where you can actually find a lot of Zambians, big mansions as well. Okay. here guys a very very big mansion it's under construction you can see this is Iringa CL you can see the way the wall fence first has been done you can see it goes all the way very big and beautiful look at the other houses in this street uh, not a beautiful road you can see that then actually what, what is happening in these uh, in this residential area is that uh, the roads like the inner roads that is actually being done by the Indian community themselves and that's what I love about these guys you know <laughs> they just they don't just uh, sit around and uh, you know hang around and wait for the Zambian government to actually uh, put up the clothes and uh, you know work on the roads here but uh, they actually do it themselves and you very soon you see this one will be done just like they have done in, in the other parts of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of this area okay look at this beautiful house 
very nice very nice big house here okay, you can see that one guys very nice isn't it <laughs> okay let me take you to some more interesting very big and nice houses you are yet to see um, uh, something amazing guys let's go Only that today guys, it's, you know it's a rainy season here in Zambia, so I mean yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of, it has been raining like uh, uh, from, from zero eight hours in the morning, it has been raining and this is about uh, 17 hours in the afternoon, so hey, uh, it's not a very good day to make a video. But I thought I should drop something for you guys, you know. Look at the beautiful... Oh, there's a dog that is following me. Um, it's, it's scared. Look at that dog, guys. Look at that dog. Okay. So, it's, um, it has been raining. So, I just thought I should drop a video, you know. I don't like keeping you guys waiting for a long time, <laughs> you know. So look at the beautiful house there and then on this other side as well there's something look at that so the big houses uh indians are very economical I, that's one thing i love about them they're very economical so they, they can't just build someone can't just build a very big house and um, you know uh, leave it empty so they bring in the entire family you know they just come and stay in one big house see that that's a house guys that's a house and it's very big so indians are very economical like i was saying so uh, they're not like us zambians uh, who want to build a very big house and then you only live there with your wife and uh, one kid you know hey this guy wow now guys take a look at this take a look at this big mansion here big mansion here not only one but there are two you can see this this one it's a very big house look at that nicely worked on a beautifully um, decorated house and you can see in front of me there were some ladies that were that have been taking photos um, on these beautiful two mansions. Okay, and you can see how they look. Uh, this is the second time I'm coming here, but you can tell that this was some architectural work that went to a private school. If you ask me, not those, not these houses that we see every single day. This is a well worked on. Uh, uh, architectural uh, structure so I think it's a beautiful one uh, even the other one so uh, looks beautiful as well so look at these beautiful beautiful houses guys and these these are the inner roads I was telling you about it's actually the Indian community itself which builds these roads, okay? They don't wait for the government to come and do things, you know, for them. But these are some amazing houses. Oof. These are the houses you can find in Mingu Wamutarika Street, right here in, uh, in Emersdale in Lusaka, Zambia. Look at this beautiful house here. The street is called Mbingu wa Mutarika and uh, surely you will be able to tell me guys 
that uh, you, you'll be able to confess that these are some beautiful, awesome houses. Okay, you can see. Oh, there's, there's even a car here. It's coming. But uh, you can tell that uh, these are beautiful. I love the trees. Look at that. You know, and the environment outside as well. So there are some beautiful houses, guys, along the Mbingwa Mutarika Street. Now, Mbingwa Mutarika is actually a former, a former, former, former uh, Malawian president, and uh, this road has been named after him. Okay, look at the beautiful houses which you can find here in Mbingu wa Mutarika Street and look at these flats here they're still under construction but surely you can say you can tell that these will be very very nice okay these will be very very nice and, um, so you can tell from the developer there how Martin um, so it's somebody from India that is doing the works. Look at the beautiful houses. Beautiful houses in Mbingu wa Mutarika Street in Emmersdale, here in Lusaka, Zambia. Ah. And you can see, you can see most of the vehicles that are passing or the people that are here are actually Indians and that's a reason more reason why we are calling it uh, look at the houses guys very nice beautiful houses now that's a reason why we are calling it the capital city of Indians living in Zambia huh? <laughs> okay so there's a girl here yeah so that's why it is uh, calling it that but otherwise mainly what we have is uh, uh, the old look at this house look at this house look at that family just coming from Shopee you know, Indian lady with her kids they're yeah, just entering the house so now you look at this this, this is funny look at these big beautiful mansions here and look at this other one here but here you've got a very small house now these are the old Emmersdale houses these are the houses kind of houses which were found in this area in the a lot where a lot in this area these belong to Zambians and uh, they've been here for a long time but uh, for them to move to to this place what they've been doing is that they've been buying from Zambians. Uh, you know, they've been offering them a lot of money just to buy such kind of uh, of houses. And then uh, when they buy them, what they usually do is they build theirs, you know. <laughs> they just uh, get rid of that one, just break it down and then build another one, you know, like big, big houses, you know. And uh, well, to some extent, for me, I think it's it's okay, uh, especially that uh, they offer, you know, huge sums of money. You can see these flats here, these big mansions here, not flats, big mansions, guys. It's almost getting dark where I am, but you can tell from here that these are very big houses. So that's what they do, and that's the reason why. Some people would, uh, of course, some people condemn them to say they're not supposed to be doing that. But hey, uh, everybody is looking for money. And if you offer them, for example, a house which just costed you about 300,000, 400,000 kwacha to build, and then somebody offers you 1.2 million, surely you can, you can actually look at the vehicles. You can actually, you know, just, uh, just sell them that one and maybe find some place somewhere else and uh, build another house but you can see guys here this place is amazing and uh, the houses guys i'm still in mbingu wa mutarika street and 
it's truly it's truly amazing it's very big houses that you you get to see all over here only a few only a few houses that belong to Zambians and uh, the ones that belong to Zambians you can still tell that uh, they're still small and you can see the dirty here it means a house was uh, actually uh, taken down and a big mansion is now being built so you can see the heaps of uh, of, of, of soil here and uh, big big flats are being put up okay so that's what I was, I was saying so somebody bought from a Zambian and uh, now they've, they've taken that house down and they are now building a bigger one a big 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 mansion you know so that is what is happening and uh, well me for me I don't blame them but you can see these are the old old houses which are here very old uh, they were all over but now things have changed people Indians are buying this land and um, you know only a few can resist uh, the temptation you know, looking at the money which these guys actually offer, it's very big, big money. Not some money to some money you can just play around with. Very big money. So yeah, that's it. So this road takes you. You can see the beautiful house here. But this road, this is where the one of the big, big, big churches here in Zambia called the Bread of Life is actually located and that's a building right at the far end of this road there and this is something that I, I enjoy because the Indian community you can see the kids here playing hey. so you can see the kids but then what I what I love is that you can hear on the other side there's a mosque and uh, it looks like a uh, uh, there are prayers that are being conducted. So let's get to the mosque and see what is happening. Let's see what is happening. What is that city? It's a beautiful house here. Look at this one. It's a very big, nice house. Very big, nice house. Look at this one, guys. Another big house. Very big, big, big house. Can you see there? <laughs> now, you guys, I want you to tell me if uh, in your countries you also have an area which you can uh, that has that looks more like it's just dedicated to to, to the Indian community. Like uh, here in Zambia, we've got two. Um, so Emmersdale, which is this area, I'm touring with you today, and uh, there's also uh, an area in Kamwala called Madras. I did a video about it, uh, so make sure that you check it out as well. It will pop up right at the end of um, this video, so make sure that you check that one out. It's a, we've got two of. Um, these areas especially which are based actually in Lusaka where you can actually find Indians a big number of Indians living there okay so do you have such kind of an area where you are okay in your country where you're watching this video from do you have such an area and what do you call it okay so this road it's known as Madiba Street 
you can see the beautiful beautiful mansions which are in this area the Madiba street and nice not only bigger Alright guys, thank you very much for coming back to my YouTube channel, you know, I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and um, you know, just make sure that you subscribe uh, if you find it interesting and also, yeah, like the video, um, share it if possible, you know, and um, I'm on the road to 10,000k, so just make sure that you share the video and give it a like. When, you're, when you like the video, it means that YouTube is going to get to show it to more people. So make sure that you like it guys and um, yeah that's it it has been Samson it has been nice taking you on a tour of this beautiful beautiful uh, area we are calling the capital city of Indians living in Zambia okay so this has been Samson your boy and I'll see you in the next video take care of yourselves bye bye for now